I've got a freedom shirt. Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos and so I want to talk about your fires. So we have covered target audiences and how they might view you. So now let's talk about who you are. You have a fire, something in here that you have a need to express. It can be the love for something like a game, frustration, fascination over amazing trivia, sensuality, sorrow or something else. And it's important to think about because if you go with what moves you, then you will easily move your audience. For example, the more you truly love a game, the more your audience will empathize with that. However, if you don't feel any hint of sadness when sharing a sad story, then chances are that your audience won't feel it either because you can only give what you have. The problem is that we don't always know enough about our fires. I once asked a director what kind of monologues I should be performing and she asked me what kind of characters I would enjoy playing the most and I didn't really have an answer for her. What I wanted to do was to just step into the life of a character and experience everything that character experienced, whatever it was. But that wasn't enough for her and after a long conversation I realized that I longed for some experiences more than others. It was kind of hard to admit but my fire or at least one of them was sadness. Now in real life sadness can be a horrible thing just like fear but the same way some people get a kick out of watching scary movies, I get a kick out of sharing sad stories through acting and as an actor I should use this knowledge to my advantage. Now this doesn't limit me to do sad roles, it's rather an inspiration for how I should be interpreting characters. For example if I were to play an evil, hateful character then I could motivate all that hate through a cry your eyes out backstory. Now this fire is just for acting though, I have another fire for this series. I just wanted to make the point that sometimes a fire can be hidden and once you found one then you can use it in many different ways. So you have a fire and the more you use that the more you'll move your audience and you also have a passion for a certain way of expression like acting, painting, music, comedy, ranting or so on and this means that your challenge is twofold. You need to one, get to know your fires and two, choose how you want to express them and when you do so then go with your heart. Only express yourself through painting if you have a calling to paint, not because someone else is doing it. And right now, don't worry about what you want to make other people feel, that is important, but it comes later. Right now, we're focusing on who you are. Now, to make it a little more complicated, your solution to the challenge can't be because I want to make other people laugh because that reason only works for choosing comedy as your way of expression. It has nothing to do with what you want to express. And even when discussing if comedy is the right expression for you, then that still depends on whether you want to do it because you want to be the center of attention or because you truly love the art. And neither can your solution be because I want to be like this YouTuber or because I want to be famous. There's a well-known saying that goes, love the art in yourself, not yourself in the art. And with this in mind, let's take a look at some common mistakes and some good examples. Now the best example that I can think about regarding making it all work together are comedians because the ones I'm thinking about have a frustration that they have a need to express and they do so through comedy because they also love the art of making other people laugh and through this 
they make other people feel good. There is one common pitfall though. Unfortunately, just because you like to receive something does not mean that you're able to give it. Some people love songs, but just can't sing. I myself love chokes, but I can't for the life of me tell one. Jim and Bob walk into a bar, and Bob tells the bartender, hey donkey boy, get me a drink. The bartender gets him a drink. And then Bob says again, hey donkey boy, get me another drink. And the bartender gets him a drink. And then finally, Jim asks the bartender, why does he keep calling you donkey boy? And the bartender answers, hee haw, hee haw, he always calls me that. I fail hard. Now, one could probably learn, but if not, then luckily there are other ways of making people laugh and other ways of expressing one's love for a song. Uh, rapping, for example. So there are always other ways, so you cannot lose. Regarding how to find your fire, I don't think that there's one true way to do it. I found mine because someone challenged me to think about it in more detail, but I'm sure there are other ways. So, in conclusion, find your fires, decide how you want to express them, and through this, make other people feel what you want them to feel. Now, I want to mention that I'm mostly inspired by a specific method of acting. It is called method acting. And though this started with acting, I think that the overall thoughts behind it translate well into other ways of expression, and that is why this is relevant for YouTubers too. Now, this might not work for everybody, but I of course have to go with what works for me and what I believe in. Now, you don't have to share what your fire is, sometimes we just want to keep that to ourselves and that is completely okay, but if you want to share it, then tell me that in the comments below. What is your fire and how do you love to express that? Thank you for watching, bye.